Good morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog. It is Thursday today and it is about 9 o'clock. Me and Frederick have had our breakfast, we've got dressed for the day and we're basically just chilling out for the moment until we decide what we're actually going to do. Before we actually get going on to the, the rest of the day and everything, I just want to say quickly thank you to Natasha who got me this top. She is a lovely subscriber of ours and she actually went out and bought this top for me and I love it so much. It just says vegan forever and I am in love with it so 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 much and I just want to say thank you so much for getting it to for me uh, it means so much to me and I absolutely love it I think what we're gonna do is that we're going to go to the foreshore to have a little stroll I was just coming outside to check the weather and I think we might be okay I'm not too sure over where the foreshore is it's like nice and blue but over where my house is it's very gray and dark and looks like it's gonna rain but we might just risk it and go down there and fingers crossed it's not gonna rain walk has been really lovely. Frederick's playing games with me and he's trying to run into me with his bike. He thinks it's so funny but I think we're going to, um, we're slowly walking back to the car so we're going to head back home. <laughs> You're trying to run into me! <laughs> but yeah I was actually ready. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna head home. Um, I'm gonna try and run away from this child of mine before he, he keeps on going up. <laughs> so Frederick told me to um, have a little seat. So we're sitting down behind the playground or in front of the playground. Freddie, you're not going on it. He's already had a play, so I've already decided he's not going on it again because once he's on it, he doesn't want to come off it. Um, but before we came to the beach, I wanted to get a hot chocolate and I went to like the cafe down here that I know that like they have vegan stuff and they have like paleo and everything and they're very like health orientated. Well, I went there because I was like, oh yeah, they should have like vegan hot chocolate. Went there and they're like, oh no, our hot chocolate powder is not vegan. I was like, why? Out of all the things you have that are like vegan and everything, you just don't do that. Like, it's so easy just to change that. But, um, so yeah, I didn't get a drink, which is unfortunate, but maybe I should start liking coffee and I'll be able to have drinks. But I don't like coffee. Jason just needs to get me used to them a little bit more until I actually have one out and spend the money instead of just wasting the money not liking it. But, um, yes, we're gonna get this guy off the table, the table, the chair, and we're going to head home. Frederick is asleep, yay! I'm so glad he fell asleep, but I decided while he was sleeping, I was going to sit down on the computer and do a little bit of work. So I'm doing like some YouTube stuff, some Instagram stuff, and I'm researching for my photography. So I'm doing some Lightroom, um, research and also some Photoshop stuff. Uh, I'm basically researching it because I need to get all this new knowledge in my head about, you know, what they do and how I can make my photos look, you know, better and everything like that. But also tomorrow I've got my first paying customer for my photography. I'm really nervous about it. I am, I guess I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because I don't know them completely. I have no idea who they are. Um, I know they're a family of five. I know the woman's name who like organized it and everything like that. 
but I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's just something that you have to do. Um, you have to get over your fears and you have to, you know, leap into the unknown and jump out of your comfort box. And that is what I'm definitely doing tomorrow. Even though this is something I really want to do, photography is something I really want to do. It's still nerve wracking taking photos of complete strangers. <laughs> just woke up and he was in this bedroom when he woke up and he's just come out with stuff all over his hands and on his nails and everything and I couldn't figure out what it was I've just seen what he's done these two pallets here are on the floor so I'm gonna check to see if he was in one of these hourglass is fine <laughs> what did you do? You had so much fun with it. Luckily, mummy doesn't care that much. But <gasps> oh my god, he was so quiet because I didn't hear a thing. I thought he was still sleeping, and then he just walked out and he's just like, Mum, I've got dirty hands, clean them. And I was like, Where'd you get this thing? I thought it I was, oh my god, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> We just finished grocery shopping and I took my glasses off because they're really foggy at the moment. Don't ask me why. I'm cleaning them all the time. They just always become foggy. Anyway, we went to the shops and I was going to take you. I totally forgot. Left you in the car. That's okay. We still succeeded. We got our bags in the back. I actually ended up taking my reusable bags today. So we didn't end up getting any plastic bags. Not one. I was so happy. But also I realized while wearing this shirt, a lot of people give you dirty looks. A lot of people were giving me horrible dirty looks about wearing a vegan shirt. <laughs> I got it all in one go. You really shouldn't do that because it's really bad for your back. But um, I did it, even though you shouldn't. I've kind of hit my everyday dilemma. What are we going to have for tea? So I've either, I've got two choices. So one, I make a vegan shepherd's pie with some, uh, mock meat yeah. or two order dominoes vegan pizzas yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one to yeah. do it's so hard I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys on Instagram and hopefully you can help me because right now I can't decide what I want while I'm waiting for people to help me answer that on Instagram I'm going to sit down on the grass and just enjoy the fine weather that we've got right now Lay down with mommy. Whoa! Are you gonna lay down with mommy? Come over here. <laughs> Who's a cutie? <laughs> I don't know what it is about looking up into the sky that makes you so calm and peaceful and just relaxed and. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the beautiful blue sky or if it's 
if it's the white clouds or you know the bright sun I have no idea what it is but it always makes me feel so good I'm coming no. I just wanted to lay down and you just want mommy to get up okay don't pull me <laughs> he just is pulling me I need to get up I can't get up with just one hand okay where are we going where are we going plane also something about this guy that I just absolutely love is that you know I had my granddad pass away a couple of years ago and every time I look at this guy I just think he's just he's just sitting up there just looking back at me it's just something special I feel like I'm gonna cry just talking about that I was very close to my granddad I adored him so 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 much but it's just something that connects me to this guy a little bit more um, having him like feeling like he's up there looking at me. I just looked on Instagram and 77% of you said vegan pizza. So we're gonna get some vegan pizza tonight. I was actually hoping to do the vegan pizza for the first time with Jason was home, but we totally forgot to do it. But I'm really craving some pizza tonight. So we're just gonna do it now. And then if it's good, we'll just order it again when Jason's home. If it's not, we'll just never order it again. Oh yeah, what can I get you tonight? Uh, could I get the vegan margarita? Margarita? Yep. Um, is there any chance I could add pineapple to that? Pizza is ordered. 10 to 15 minutes. How good is that? And I had to add pineapple onto my pizza because I'm one of those people that loves pineapple on pizza. You would have to let me know if you're a person who has pineapple or doesn't have pineapple on their pizza because I feel like everyone's different. Some people absolutely hate it and some people love it, like myself. So we just got back from Domino's and I've got our pizza and uh, garlic bread. Frederick's only getting one slice of pizza and two little um, sections of the garlic bread. The rest, he's got some vegetables and he's also got some avocado on his plate just because I don't think this pizza is really that good for him. So I'm going to have it. But I thought before we get going, I will do a little taste test for you guys and see if it's good or not. A lot of people that I've seen that are vegan that have tried it really do like this pizza. So fingers crossed, I really like this pizza. But yeah, let's give this pizza a go. It kind of looks like Hawaiian pizza without the meat. Mmm. That's a really nice pizza. I'm going to get going now because I really want to enjoy this pizza while Frederick's eating and I'm not talking to you guys. So I hope you all enjoy today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know if you have pineapple on your pizza or not. I really want to know if people have pineapple on their pizza or not. But anyway, we're going to get going. So we will see you guys all next time. Bye.